So uh, many, many of you may know Mike Rufo for being the, the, the most moderate libertarian that there is in New Jersey. <laughs> And his, and his and a couple of runs for uh, for office that, has, that have been well attended and well done, but I want to introduce Mike Rufa because he has a few thoughts tonight to send us home with, and I think that's well worth hearing. I'll be out in the lobby getting Dave to sign up as a member. Mike Rufo. All right, so you guys have fun. Was that an awesome slate of speakers or what? I mean, that was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun. Um, for those of you that weren't here for the business meeting, it was as libertarian as possible, so you didn't miss anything. Um, that being said, I just want to say a couple of quick words. Um, we've got the gubernatorial race this year. We've got several candidates throughout the state. And I want to be very clear about what the Libertarian Party is going to be doing and what our goal is here. Um, so I just put together these words and I'm going to just get right into it. So have you ever wondered what went through the, the minds of men and women in the revolutionary era? Have you wondered what it was like in those dim lit pubs when those seeds were planted? What the tension was like on the streets of New York City and how it felt day to day. How it felt to know that you lived in a moment of historical significance that was sure to change the course of human history. Or would you even know? Would you even see in such a way that it was that profound? Or would you know that in that moment all you really yearned for was the right to live your life as you saw fit? freely and peacefully exchanging with those around you? Would you have been concerned with the fact that the crown claimed its rulings were for your own good, but clearly caused hunger and strife? Would you have been content with the enforcement arm of the crown kicking in your door in the middle of night solely on the suspicion that you possessed goods purchased without the seal of the crown? Would you have supported the crown as colonists laid dead shot in the streets and others rioted after? Would you have accepted that you could only buy your furs, teas, liquors, grain, et cetera, et cetera, excuse me, from the British merchants on British ships paying British taxes using when perfectly good alternatives were available in your very own backyard at a better quality at a lesser price? Would you have entertained the idea that you could voice your concern but those that were many miles away and even those in your own backyard cared not to listen? Well, today I'm here to bring you a few simple facts to light. You are currently living in a moment of historical significance that will alter the course of human history. You have been living under these same threats, conditions, and malfeasance oppressions. You have been told that you are not essential to society, that you are not needed. You are literally worse, worth less than those the elite have chosen to be worth more than you. You have been told that you must only purchase state-approved products from state-approved vendors using state-approved notes. You've been told that for your own safety, it's okay that they kick in the doors of a pregnant woman while she's sleeping next to her boyfriend and they fire weapons and throw off flashbangs. You have been told that those 8,000 miles away hate you for your freedoms and that bombing of weddings and hospitals and murdering and starving innocent women and children is for your own safety. You have been told what words you can say, where and when you can travel, and how freely you can breathe. You have been told that violence is mostly peaceful, that freedom is selfish, and that theft is virtuous. You have been told that resistance is conspiracy, treasonous, and seditious. You have been told time and time again that the death of supposedly free men at the hands of those anointed protectorate is always justified and never to be questioned. The truth is that today as the hair on your neck stands and the sweat beads on your brow during a traffic stop, as you prepare your taxes with uncertainty, and as you search for your mask or plead for affordable medication, as you gather in secret like we kind of are here today. To enjoy the human experience and some semblance of sanity, you'll still live under the predacious and malfeasant oppressions of the ruling elite. There is hope to be had, though. Sounds pretty sad, right? But among all of you lies the leftover spirits of freedom, a spirit that burns with the ancestry of revolution, that burns with the ancestry of abolition, the ancestry of refugees and immigrant pioneers, 
the ancestry of suffrage and, human, and civil rights. It lies dormant, idly awaiting the moment it is most needed. It rejects the premise that any one human holds agency over another. It knows that life is meant to be enjoyed freely, peacefully, and honestly, without the initiation of force or violence to achieve one's ends. It demands that the human experience not be one subjected to that malfeasant oppression of the ruling elite. The remnants of that spirit is not dead. In fact, in this room and on that Zoom screen, each and every one of you have the ability to awaken the remnant and rally the hearts of liberty. It is, in, it is now that the remnant must rise and now that it is most needed. So I ask of you as you go forth on our campaigns, as we build our policy coalitions, and as you discover this new party of liberty, be bold, be brave, and be radical. For the enemy is not shy and they hold no punches, and they view you as theirs to control. You must stare in the eyes of the beast and fight with their same tenacity. Now is not the time for timid concessions. Be clear in your demands for liberty. And I will leave you with this. The New Jersey Libertarian Party is this state's only voice for freedom. It is the only voice for the unheard, and it is the only voice for prosperity. We will not bend the knee to the cult of the omnipotent state, we will not, we will end the forever wars, excuse me. We will end the failed war on drugs. We will end the militarized police state. We will end the state indoctrination of our children. We will end crony politics. Now here comes the fun part. We will abolish the IRS. And for those of you that have been around the block, who understand that the current monetary policy is the grease of the wheels of oppression. And to evoke the rallying cry of the great Ron Paul, we will end the Fed. Woo! That has been your 2021 New Jersey Libertarian Party Convention. Thank you very much for coming out, for viewing, and I wish you all the best.